but because these waves are a little bit of phase so one wave has slightly different frequency than another not much not a huge difference so one wave keep running 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 away from another until they reach the stage when they will be in the stage of disrupting interference so the one way has maximum and other way has minimal mm -hmm. then these two waves when they add it together the resulting wave will be nearly zero very small yes. and this is what we are heading um in ground okay let me try to explain what she's trying to get across here what we've been told for a long time is what we see on the left here is what the the sun has is a dipole magnetic field. But decades of research has brought us to the understanding that there's multiple magnetic fields on the sun. There's the, the main bar magnet, the dipole, the dipole, you know, magnetic moment. But it also has the toroidal field and the poloidal field. And the poloidal field is usually more prominent at the beginning and the ends of the cycles, the 11 year cycles. And as the, the solar dynamo ramps up inside and starts its spin up, that's when it becomes more toroidal in nature. And it compresses that field. And that's when you get more of your sunspots coming out because the, the main left magnetic field, it can't trap and contain it. So it, it pops out and then it goes back in most of the time. But sometimes it can't hold on to it. So it releases it out into space. And that's what we know about solar flares and CMEs and all that. So what she's trying to explain here is if we look on the right, the sun has, she, she, as she explains, it has multiple frequencies that they have been able to understand is coming from the sun. And they see these frequencies. They're moving where they're not in phase anymore. So here, let me take a picture and try to explain this. So I'll use this white part here. So phase. A wave, sound wave. I know it's not perfect, but if you got two frequencies coming out and they're in phase, they run pretty much parallel, pretty much right on. Okay. But as she's explaining, you have the main field, right? And then you got the other field. Okay, it's kind of crude, I understand, but you understand this concept, okay? So that's what she's saying, that they're slowly moving, those frequencies are slowly moving away from each other, and they're going to eventually cause an, inter an, an interference. And that's when you're going to see the, the zero point, and that's when you, it's going to be at its lowest activity. And that's how she can predict that there's a solar minimum coming up. And that it's going to be a, a pretty long stretch of it. How long, we don't know. But we see it coming because the frequency change. You don't need a degree from a big fancy college to understand information or data or language or simply looking up in a dictionary what the word means, people. This is all the stuff we do when we learn long ago about this stuff. This is all stuff I've known for years. This is all stuff I've been debating in, in the comment sections. I understand this. I don't need some link sent to me to make me understand this. Because I've studied it. I know. So I hope this helps you guys to understand what she's talking about is how it's moving away from each other. And it's, it's going out of phase.
Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.